What's going on in New England? If you said to me, after, let's just say, for the sake of argument, after the Super Bowl, you tell me Julian Edelman will be suspended for the Patriots, they'll acquire Josh Gordon, (laughs) and they will be tied in their division with the Bills and the Jets at 1-2, and two, looking at 3-0 and oh, Miami Dolphins. I would have said, first of all, how are you traveling t- through time like this? It's impressive. And then secondly, you're full of shit. But here we are. 2018's been a weird year. The New England Patriots are 1-2 and two and have not looked good at all in those two losses. They have looked just mediocre at best. They lost 26 to 10 to the Lions on Sunday night football. Now the Jaguars are actually a good team. That first loss against the Jaguars, they're not a bad team. Jaguars are good. Look out for Jacksonville, which I'm going to say this every single time I turn on the mic. I said this years ago with the moves they were making and building the th- team through the draft. I said the Jacksonville Jaguars were a playoff team. I will stand by that. I will dig up old episodes of this show and show you the truth. So the question is, are the Patriots in trouble? If this were any other organization, if this weren't Tom Brady, if this weren't Bill Belichick, absolutely I would say this team is in trouble. It's really hard to bet against those two. I have been a lifelong Patriot. Someone has coined that term somewhere, and I will give you some money. But if not, I'm claiming hatred. I, I feel like that's a Twitter thing. Point is, I'm a hatred. I have never liked the New England Patriots. Much like I've never liked Alabama, I can't deny their greatness. Five Super Bowls? You can't deny that greatness. So that's why I don't think New England's in trouble. When a team has been to the playoffs as much as they have, When a team has won five Super Bowls, they've been to eight Super Bowls. When you have arguably the greatest quarterback to play the game on your side, you have the best coach in NFL history on your side. It's hard for me to pick against you. I will this week. Spoilers. But it's hard for me not to believe that they're somehow going to make the playoffs. Will it be a wild card? Maybe. But I don't think that the Patriots are a team that I it just I don't want to think about that because this is just a world that I don't think exists where New England isn't dominating the East. Makes me kind of question reality a little bit. As a lifelong Patriot, I'm into it. I want that to happen. I just don't think it will. I mean, you look at New England, and they have had some legitimate controversy this past year. The Jimmy G trade. The book coming out about Belichick and then the whole divorce with Tom Brady, you know, Belichick's battles with Robert Kraft. There's so much drama and turmoil. And even through all that, they still went to a Super Bowl last year. And you take away a fumble, probably could have won. So much like, you know, what I've said with Scott Frost in Nebraska, the sky's not falling for New England. But there's 13 games left on their schedule. A one and two start is not the end of the world. I don't think the Patriots are in trouble. The Patriots are never in trouble because who they have under center and who they have coaching them, they are never not going to be a good football team. Even if they go 8-8 eight and eight or 9-7, and seven, I know Patriot fans are going to think that's a loss of a season. I got a newsflash for you. As a Buccaneers fan, I would kill for an 8-8 eight and eight season or a 9-7 and seven season consistently. We got one a couple years ago. So, no, the Patriots are not in trouble. 